downtown. These are two themes I propose to dwell on today on our gospel reading. Next time na lang, follow me. This was the invitation of Jesus in the gospel. One answered, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first bury my father. This can mean two things. The father has passed away and need to be buried. Or the man was saying, after the death of my father, then I will follow you. Next time, na lang, Lord. The second one replied, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say goodbye to my family. This was would also mean that let me see if my family will approve. Next time na lang, Lord, kapag okay na ang lahat. We desire to follow Jesus, to follow His way of righteousness, to do His will, but a lot of times we say, next time na lang. It is like the prayer of St. Augustine, Lord, grant me chastity, but not now. It is like the alcoholic who says, one last drink, and then after that, no more. Or one last tick for the smoker. Or saying that I will see him or her one last time for illicit affairs. And many other next time na lang excuses. Now na, our gospel tells us Jesus was resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? As we know, it was in Jerusalem where Jesus completed his, his mission. In Jerusalem, he will be killed and will rise again in glory. Going to Jerusalem, they were welcome. They were not welcome to pass in the Samaritan town. Jews and Samaritans were hostile to each other during the time of Jesus more than the Sal and Ateneo in UAAP basketball games. James and John wanted to use force. Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? A common reaction for those who have power. What are we in power for anyway? But Jesus rebuked them. Not that way. Jesus was upset if there is a block then let us go another way to reach our destination. Jesus could have made an excuse. Oops, I could not go to Jerusalem because these people would not allow me to pass. Next time na lang. But he went by another way to, to reach Jerusalem. Now na, ngayon na. This week we heard the news that Brother Armin Luis from FSC, President of the South Schools, has accepted the post of Secretary of Education for this incoming administration. Brother Armin would have said that he still has great responsibilities with La Salle. Next time na lang. The La Salle brothers would have also not allowed Brother Armin to accept this difficult position. After all, Brother Armin would be a great loss to their education apostolate. Next time na lang. But I believe that the LaSalle brothers saw this as an opportunity for them through Brother Armin to make complete what we pray here every Sunday. Let me be the change I want to see, to do with strength and wisdom all that needs to be done and become the hope that I can be. Let me be the change I want to see now and now. For us, brothers and sisters, what are the matters in our life, in our discipleship that we keep saying to God by our words and our deeds? Next time, the Lord, word. Could it be that God is demanding from us more pronouncedly today. Tama na ang saka na lang. Tama na ang next time na lang. Tama na. Tama na.